Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, it's a bit of a different one. Um, I reached out to a good friend of mine, or oh, he's become a good friend, um, guy by the name of Howard, uh, and he's got a YouTube channel called uh, Jubius Engineering. Um, <coughs> he does all sorts of uh, dubious things. Ironic, that, isn't it? But um, I reached out to him because I knew he had a 3D printer and I wanted a, um, I wanted some badges making for the front of the truck. And uh, this is what he made for me, 3D printed. Pretty cool. So I asked him if he would film. So he's done a little, uh, a little video himself. Um, so I'll let you go watch that for now. And when you come back, I'll tell you the plans and show you where we are and what we're up to. Um, I jumped ahead a little bit, forgot to film. <laughs> but go check out Howard and uh, his little bit. And I'll come back to you afterwards and uh, we'll talk through the rest of my plans and where we're going with it. I'll see you in a bit, guys. I've been asked by the Wittering Trucker to take his logo design and turn it into a 3D printed object. He's going to get his wife to paint it. She might tell him where to go. <laughs> so now we've got it into Cura. So, <laughs> so a bit of luck, we'll be able to spin that around. Oh, there we go, have a look at it. Drop it down on the deck. Happy days. And now we should be able to just have a look around that, make sure there's nothing scary going on. Nope, it's all looking good. Right, and now we can tell it to go ahead and slice it up and print it. So once you've sliced it up, you can then go ahead and sort of get a feel for how this is going to end up printing up on your bed. And so on this tiny little SD card here, we load that into the front of the printer, switch the printer on, and then we can tell it to go ahead and start printing. And this printing process will take about four or five hours. <laughs> trucker trucking logo now all we have to do is get underneath it <laughs> oh there we go peel it off the build bed get in there <laughs> it's in there wittering trucker i'm looking forward to seeing what you do with this cheers mate Dubious Engineering on YouTube. Take care, have fun. Bye bye. Cool bit of kit. Cool bit of kit. Uh, it took, I can't remember, I, mean, I, think it, I think it said in the video how long it took. It was a while to print. It took a while to print it out. Um, so while I was at work last week, um, he did He did me too. Um, and the plan is to. I've got the Tamiya paints because they're a plastic paint. So it's Tamiya colour paints. Yeah? So you can see there's blue there. And I've got, I've got the pots. Again, Tamiya. Or Tamiya, however you want to pronounce it. Okay. The plan then was to spray paint it completely blue. And then start infilling it with white and red and black. Well, I can't, as I said, I jumped ahead and I forgot to film. <laughs> I had my wife paint it blue. So she spray painted it for me. Using the, uh, let's say, the Tamiya spray paint. If we figured it'd be easier to spray it than it would be to actually hand, if I hand paint it. And then I've made a start using the white just to colour in the uh, in the letters. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, I've done two coats on most of the Witter ring. So we've got the G and the Trucker to do at the bottom. So I'll show you a bit of that. Sometimes things happen Beyond your control As if they have a life of their own 
choices you make, what appears to be right, seems you just have no say. As if you're a witness to your own mistakes, it's easy to play along. After you see what the choices came to be, like a storm that's passed on. Oh, the brain down the drain. Oh, the fuse, the abuse. Oh, please, storm fell trees. Oh, the fight over who's right. Trying to remember all the. Right, so I very, very quickly realised that the the YouTube logo, I want it red. Um, I very quickly realised I'm going to have to do it white first. So I have to get two or three coats of white on there. And then the red will be uh, a nice bright well, YouTube red. So we'll get a couple more coats on there and I'll come back to you when it's uh, when we're going red. <laughs> See you in a bit. That one down. I don't know what your intention was. Like trying to memorize the Bible backwards to the star And reciting it from the heart upside down Oh please, on your knees Amend what you defend I am right, therefore I fight You're wrong, this fight is lifelong Outside done. I've done a majority underneath, but I need to epoxy um, a bracket thing on the back, so I don't want to go painting it all. Once it's epoxied on, then I'll paint it all. But it's looking pretty cool. I'm quite pleased with it. It's come out quite good. I go very good, very good, really good. <laughs> Obviously, it goes that way. YouTube logo will be level like that. So the next thing to do now is um, flood fill it with epoxy. Um, I'll be back in a sec, I'll show you. Right, never used epoxy before. Read about it, watched it on YouTube. Can't be that difficult. <laughs> what we've done is, what I got my wife to do earlier, uh, I had the plain one that's not uh, not painted. She put that onto, I've just spotted a little bit, I need to touch up. That's going to be really annoying. Let me just show you that. I don't know if I can get it on the camera, but you can see at the side of that care there. Let's try and fill the... Yeah, you can see how it's how it's bled. So all I'll do there is I'll just spray some uh, spray some blue into a cup or something, and then just touch that in before we paint it. It's got to dry properly anyway. But um, I got the wife to uh, measure. And she put the the plain one on some scales and I filled it with water to see how many grams of water it needed to fill it um, because I picked this up I've got absolutely no idea if it's any use any good whatsoever I've no idea it's two part epoxy I've not even opened it I've had it for weeks I'm not sure not around to using it so we'll, uh, we'll have a look see what's in it. it should be two bottles which you mix 
obviously I've got to wait for paint to cure properly first. So I probably won't do this until tomorrow and then leave it until next weekend and then it's good for me to play again next weekend. So yeah we've got instructions there. Part A, Part B. So we've got probably got Part A which is the actual resin and Part B which is the hardener and from what I can remember it's a 50-50 mix. Yeah it says so at the bottom ratio, one to one ratio. So all I will do is I'll get the scales, I've got a little pot so I'll get my wife's scales, I'll put the pot on, tear it so it's zero and then I'll put uh, 15 grams because we need 25 grams in weight of fluid to fill it so I'll put 15 grams of one and then 15 grams of the other mix it up pour it in let it go off and it really is that simple in theory um, we need a bit of fire so we'll, we'll use um, a blowtorch I'll go I'll show you what I'm doing it uh, use a blowtorch and it just lifts any uh, air bubbles out um, so you get that nice crystal clear so that's the badge done. Uh, we just need to do that little bit of a, a touch up on the blue there, just to blend that white in. That's uh, bled a little bit, and that's it. So next time I come back to you, uh, we will be doing the resin. See you in a bit, guys. Right guys, um, we're in my workshop and the plan now is just to make a little, um, just a flat plate with two threads, literally all it is, flat plate with two threads um, and the idea is just a bit of off cut of steel, I don't know what size it is, I would tell you if I could find a vernier gauge, can't find a vernier, oh there we go, oh god it won't come out of its hole. <coughs> Out. Got it. One point six mil. Brainy gauge. One point six mil. So it's one point six mil thick. Um, uh, the holes need to be um, sixty mil apart on centres. So the whole thing is the the actual badge is 100 mil across so ideally I want it about 80 mil long I'll turn it down you can see what I'm up to so let's say it's just a piece of scrap so if I cut it 80 mil and then I reckon we can get away with doing it about 25 mil across So 
It's about there. So half of 25 is 12 and a half. What do we say we did that at? 80 mil. We need 60 mil centers. So that should be 10 mil away from the end then, shouldn't it? So if I do it, 20. No, that's wrong. If I do it, 15. 65, 60 mil? No, it's 50 mil. We need to make it longer, it needs to be 90 mil. Right, I'll start again. See, I'll show you everything. I'll do it wrong. Right, so let's do it this way. We'll have 10, 10 mil, and then we'll have one, and then we'll do it another one there, and then we'll go another 10 mil for the end of the plate. Yeah, that should do it. And then we'll do it 25 wide. Twelve and a half for the hole. Twenty-five. Twelve and a half. So we know. Up there, up there. And that's the world's smallest ruler as well. I couldn't find a bigger one. Oh, it's just there, look, staring at me. It's not ideal. It's not. It's not perfect. But it's going to do the job. So the plan is to drill, drill, insert through the hole and then I will um, weld up a little bit just to tack them on and then I'll cut the back off and then we'll flush, uh, flush, weld, flush weld them from the back and, and, and grill them flat, grill them, grind them flat um, and then obviously I'm going to cut them shorter because these are the only ones I've got and then when it goes this plate then will get epoxy resin to the back of the badge. That'll be there. That'll be like that. Through the front grill of the truck. Big spreader washer. Wing nut. That's the plan. That's the plan. So we need to get hole drilled. I'm going to drill it oversize. Um, this is going to be what? It's going to be 4mm. 6mm. Um, 6mm. So if I drill maybe an 8mm hole, it gives me plenty of room to get get some weld in there. So we'll cut over to the uh, the mess, that's the other bench. And I'll hold there. As you saw me do, I, um, I drilled, I left it in one piece, just to give me more room to hold, uh, I drilled through with about a 7mm I think it was, um, and then I just tacked there and there on both sides, just tacked it in place, then I ground them off at the back and then just chucked a bit of weld at it, 
it's not pretty, it's not going to win any you know, beauty awards, but it is going to do the job, uh, which is what matters, isn't it? So, plan now is, sorry, um, yeah, I threaded, you saw me thread these on, the wing nuts, you saw me thread the wing nuts on prior to cutting them short. Um, the reason I did that was if I didn't quite get a clean cut, when I back the nuts off, it'll actually re thread. It'll re thread. Um, so that should easily go straight back on. Now you watch it come in, are you? There we go, look. Nice and easy. And also, when you cut when you cut threads, if you do it with a grinder, I know this is a flat disc, but if it was a cutting disc, cut it all the way around its circumference before you go through. Otherwise, you end up with a, a burr off one edge, and it's a real pain in the backside to get rid of. So that's it. We'll take that back in the house now. And uh, just gonna have a bit of a burr there. This is a nail file, not a nail file, a needle file. It's just a, a burr from cutting it. So that's it, yeah, we're done. I'm happy with that. We'll take that back in the house, get it painted. And face, paste it, paint it on the face so it all looks nice and pretty in black. Um, yes, some of you are going to say, well that's galve, you should have you should have uh, take, pay, taken all the galve off before you welded it. Galvanises is poisonous when you weld in. Well it is, but come on, you know, it's more spot welded than anything. So it's done. Go back in the house, do a bit more. finished hope you enjoyed the build um, check out the channel and uh, there's gonna be more builds to come uh, one of them being where are we a light board if you've enjoyed what you've seen make sure you hit that like share subscribe and all that good stuff and we'll see more of it thanks for uh, thanks for watching take care I'll speak to you soon bye guys